Okay, we're we're at the East St. Louis Cemetery, and I'm here with Mervyn. And Mervyn was just talking to me about this particular gravesite and what it means to him. Who is this gravesite, Mervyn? He was my brother in the beginning of the war. Your brother? Did you ever know this person? I mean, yes, physically? I, yes, we lived there. I, I still have the same land on uh, Inner Street, 1934 Inner Street. That's where the world began. Okay, that's when it began. Before the Tower of Babel and, and, and before Adam got put out the East Gate, going to eat. Okay. Um, I want to ask you something. You believe in spirits, right? Yes, I have to. Okay. Do you believe that there are spirits right here in the cemetery? Yes, every grave has spirits. When a light dies, Life didn't continue its forever, so the spirit that never lived the life. Sometimes they'll start again, and sometimes they'll come down in another name and start completing some of the deeds and acts that God created. Okay, do you believe that, so why, why do you think some of the spirits still remain in this particular graveyard, this cemetery? Why do you think they still hang out here? They have to, they're connected. When the life died, a whole economy died. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, yeah, the aunt, the uncle, the the nephew, the son, the daughter. Right. So they're waiting for it to live again or for the next one. Okay. Now I see here all these items that right here by the grave shelly. Um, what do all these items represent? I mean, it looks like people leave a lot of things here. Well, the spirit here. The ghost and the spirit ask them to leave them open. They ask them if they got lipstick, leave lipstick so they put the exit and go through their witch room. You know, ask them to leave them some wine. They actually taste that. They leave wine or soda, beer there. So what Merv is saying is that all these items right here, they're offerings for the spirits. And they put three X's. If you could come over here and look at the three X's that are on the wall, you said that what you do is you put three X's and what you do, you spin you around them. three times. You spin around three times. You make a solid wish in your mind. Now you make it in your mind, a solid wish in your mind, and that if the spirit of this person would help you out with your... Yeah, Marie Laveau. The name of the spirit of this cemetery is Marie. Marie. Yeah. Okay, so Marie, now, is her grave site close by to here? Yeah, she's right on the other side. Right on the other side. And we're going to go over there in a few minutes and look at Marie Laveau's face. But what Mervyn is saying is you put three X's on the wall, you spin around three times, you make a wish in your mind, and that the spirit of Marie Laveau will help you, or she may not help you, right? She's she got to help. She's got to try. Okay, but you have to do a few things. She's going to live with you and talk to you. Right, she'll live yeah, with you, you and talk this, to you. You do this, you do that, and we can give you that. Okay, has she talked to you? Yeah, she got it. She's a descendant of mine. Okay, so, so she talks to you in your mind? Or do you actually hear the words? She still has a life, she has flesh. Okay, she still has she's Yeah, a, right. Have you ever seen any apparitions in this place? Have you ever seen like a ghostly figure in this cemetery? Yeah, yes, I see him every time. Okay, do you see him in the daytime and at nighttime? Yeah, I don't come at night. At night? Only when it's open. Only when it's but open. But I can see it, yeah. You can't see him? Yeah. Okay. I mean, do you think there's lots and lots of spirits here? Every grave has a ghost. Okay? they got 4,000 graves in this square. Right. There's 4,000 ghosts. And spirits. And they got what you call a wait. A wait to live again. They can talk to you. Every grave can talk to you. The one that's in the ground is like a one gene of the spirit with flesh, suffering. Okay. All right. All right. We're here with Mervyn. We're going to go over to Marie Lil Laveau's grave now, and we're going to visit that. Thanks, Mervyn, for being with us, and thanks for answering all the questions, okay? Uh, excellent to talk to you. Okay. I will. Right. Thank you, my friend. Right. Peace so this is the burial spot of Marie Laveau, the legendary voodoo queen of New Orleans. Mervyn said that if you come here, put some X's, and leave an offering, that she hears you, and that she'll help you out. I don't think I want to do that today because personally I don't believe in it. But she also he also says that you can hear her. We're gonna be walking around this graveyard today and we're gonna see if we hear or see anything. As far as I know, a lot of this stuff is just kind of what they call voodoo. It's kind of made up stuff and people believe in it. I personally don't believe that Marie Laveau could hear me or Marie Laveau could do anything. Maybe she can. We'll find out when we're here. But you can see there's X's on here. And you can also see all the offerings. I'm not going to leave an offering. And I'm not going to put any X's on here. But I will say this. If Marie Laveau is here, I want her to let me know she's here somehow. Either through the video or through touching me or through doing something. And if she does do that, I'll let you know. 
We're gonna walk around and we're gonna see what happens, okay? Okay, we're standing outside the cemetery now. A few things just happened that's kind of unexplainable. I don't know how to explain them, but I'm gonna try. As uh, Barry and I were standing in there, I started to feel a little dizzy, especially near Marie Laveau's grave, right after I said, I'm not so sure I believe in all this. I wasn't being disrespectful. But anyway, I was feeling dizzy. Not only once, but I felt it twice. So Barry and I decided to leave. As soon as we walked outside the cemetery, he told me the same thing, that he started feeling a heaviness, a dark heaviness inside the cemetery. I'm a believer in this. There's something inside the cemetery. I think some of it is dark. I think some of it may be what you call magic or voodoo. Whatever you want to call it, I just experienced it. I'm feeling a lot better now at standing outside of here. I'm not going to be returning to this cemetery for one reason. I don't want to put myself at risk for anything that's dark or evil. I don't believe, I do believe in dark and evil, and this place may have some of the harbor some of that. So we're going to move on now. We're going to go down to Canal Street. We're going to catch the, the trolley. We're going to be going down to some other cemeteries. We're going to see what happens there. But as far as East St. Louis Cemetery goes, I know this. There's something in there. I don't know if it's light. I don't know if it's dark. I know how it made me feel. It made me feel a little bit dizzy. It made my camera my cameraman, Barry, feel a little bit. He said there was a heaviness in there. He wanted to leave too. So that's our visit to East St. Louis Cemetery. We're going to move on now.